Hi folks, there are a few features in 1Password that aren't as commonly used as passwords. Some of these things you can see here on the left. What we're going to focus on today is software licenses. Now this is something which, you know, oftentimes if you purchase a piece of software, you will receive a license in an email. In the future, if you do something like format your computer and need to reinstall the software, you'll need to track down that email with that license. What 1Password will do is allow you to store that information so when you do need to reinstall the software at some point in the future, you can easily look it up. How do you create a software license entry? Well, it's as easy as any other item. You click the new item button here and we'll be going over a few of these in other videos. I've already done a video on credit cards and identities, but in this case, we're going to be adding a software license. So in my case, I'm going to use TechSmith's Camtasia, the software I'm using to record this video. Uh, as an example. Uh, so what you would do is you basically enter the name of the software that you're going to be creating the entry for. Uh, you can enter a version here. In my case, it's Camtasia 8. Uh, there's a more specific version. You can usually get that from the software itself or from the email that was sent to you when you actually purchased the software. And here's the important part. You're going to want to enter your license key. So in my situation, I actually have the key in an email that I received from TechSmith. Um, so what I'll do is I'll copy and I'll paste that here and it's really as easy as that. That's the big key piece of information you'll want to save with most of your software licenses. Other things you can save are who it's licensed to. Sometimes this becomes important. For example, if the software requires you to enter uh, the licensee name when you're actually registering the software or reinstalling it, uh, you can also enter your email. And uh, you can enter other information like the company, where you can download the software from. Again, all this is useful if uh, in the future you need to reinstall the software and you don't have the information readily available. Um, so after you've entered your information, you know, other things that you can put here are also your purchase date. Uh, I'm just going to throw a date in here as well as the order number. If you need to contact customer service, this could be important for you. Order total, who knows whether that's important or not. The real key here is this guy. The license key is uh, going to provide you with the information you need typically to reinstall software. Um, and then after you've done that, you can also add other things like sections, different attachments, icons. Uh, but what you probably wanna do is just click OK and then you'll see that pop up here and that'll be saved with your 1Password information in your vault. And then in the future, if you need to access that information, it's easily accessible. Anyway, that's a short video on how to add a software license to 1Password and why it might be useful. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and please subscribe to the channel and look for other videos and tutorials. Thanks.